Every time I watch Frozen, I can't help but think of how to make it better. Believe me, I know how pretentious that sounds, but the more I think about it, the more I want to talk about it. So here's how you fix Frozen. Let's starting off by cutting off the main characters. Obviously we'll keep Elsa and Anna since the story is about them. Olaf is a useless comic relief so he can fuck off. Sven, I'm not attached to at all. The only reason he's there is to show off Kristoff's annoying sign. Speak of the funky looking donkey, Kristoff has Gotta go. Now I know what you're thinking. He's the love interest. He's also the one that took Anna to see Elsa, and then took her to Arendelle after getting blasted in the chest. While he did provide transportation, his sled ended up falling down a cliff and caught fire. So they made the rest of the trip by foot. Also, his selfless yet dumb ass had feelings for Anna and didn't even consider kissing her until it was too late. Zero kiss. Zero points. Now that the useless characters are gone, there's one secondary character that needs a promotion. Hans. He and Anna have shown great chemistry together. The makers of this movie wasted their time making a duet for these two, just to make Hans a twisted villain. Now I think this relationship would be good for a number of reasons. They have a lot in common, Hans has shown his compassion towards the people of Arendelle, and it would give Disney audiences something they've never seen before. God, fuck a duck. And it would give Disney audiences something they've never seen before. A rejected marriage proposal from the protagonist's true love. Think about it. Anna starts off isolated from her sister and the rest of society and was willing to get married without a second thought. It should have ended with Hans kissing Anna, realizing that they didn't know each other enough to get married, but to continue the relationship by getting to know each other better. Next item on the agenda, Elsa needs more screen time. It's a tale of two sisters, one of them being the face of the movie and the reason it's called Frozen. The additional characters are a distraction from the relationship between Anna and Elsa. It was it wasn't until this scene in the sequel, not the first movie, that I felt like they were actual sisters that had a bond. This could have been the Disney version of Practical Magic. Also, I plain just don't like Anna. She's annoying and completely reckless, putting herself and others in harm's way, not to mention willing to marry somebody she just met. Now I know it's a movie geared towards children and kids shows nowadays aren't exactly breaking as many boundaries, but if you cut out the beginning of Frozen, it would make a big emotional impact. Let me explain why. We start off with Anna saying, do you want to build a snowman? With Elsa constantly rejecting her, with zero context to her having powers, and we just think that an older sister thing where they don't want to play with their little sisters anymore. But as they get older, and with their parents dying and Elsa not showing up for the funeral, the adults who are either forced to watch the movie or actually like Disney movies are gonna wonder what is going on? Long story short, quit trying to dumb it down. Let's have a little mystery with our cartoons. My ranting will be coming to an end soon, after I get this off my chest. But this also goes for all the other Disney movies, at least before the 2010s. Stop with the true love anecdote. I don't give a shit if it was honest love or Elsa that saved her. You can't keep making true love the answer to everything. Also, it doesn't even make sense. What does love have to do with reversing an ice curse? If thawing snow is love, then what is making snow? Fear? There's just so many mixed messages about being yourself, but being yourself is also dangerous. It's Pick a fucking lane, people. And that's the end of this grown up complaining about cartoons. Hope you enjoy. Like and subscribe. Ring that bell, and I'll ring it right back to you. Do you wanna build a snowman? Do you wanna hang out in some snow? Because I can't find anyone to help me with this all this fucking snow.